Yurch. What's good, you quarantine queefs? Slice. And today, we gonna steal some perfect crystalline carbon atoms. Otherwise known as diamonds. The absolute most overpriced and overcontrolled luxury resource that there is. Not only are hordes of them everywhere naturally, not everywhere, but a lot of places, but we make them in a laboratory, and they're worth the same. Back to the point at hand, with this heist, I don't find it to be as profitable as a gold bar duplication heist. Now, when we're doing this, um, there's no way, no known way, well, that I know of at least, to duplicate the diamonds. Uh, also, the, when it comes to the diamonds, they take probably just as long to grab as cash, as a card of cash, right around that uh, area. And, you know, you're just, you're not picking up enough. You're just, you're not going to get enough. Even if you run four men, you're going to get, you get all of them. You know, your cuts still aren't going to be as good as if you grab those gold bars. And then, I mean, maybe when you're talking four men, the cuts will look a little better because you grabbed everything, but... You know, you might as well run a two-man gold bar one, and you're going to get about the same take, if not better, as you would have with the four guys. You know, it's not a bad heist at all. It's worth doing, um, but it, it's not my thing. You know, I, I'm still pushing gold bars on this. This kill he made right there, no matter how many times I get this heist done, that's the hardest kill for me to get. I fuck up so many times right there. I'm a level 360-something. I've done this heist hundreds of times, and I still fuck up on a simple melee of a guard. It happens all the time. Sometimes I'll reload instead of hitting him. Sometimes I'll just start swinging at the air. Sometimes he, I just stare at him even though I'm hitting the melee button, and he just shoots me in my fucking face. I don't know, man. I hope everybody's out there staying safe. I know we're all quarantined. I do expect during this quarantine for domestic assault cases to go way up. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Also, we got approved for stimulus checks. Uh, about 1200 per adult, 500 per kid. Whether they pay your bills or not is not of the government's concern. Which, uh, I think this one-time payment of such a small amount of money is nowhere near good enough for the times that we're getting ready to face. I, I don't know about everybody else's uh, states or wherever you live, um, but my state is looking to be in lockdown for a minimum of three months, and that's with the cases as they are now. That's if it does not get any worse than it already is in my state. Our state is locked for three months, and only essential people are allowed to go to work. The dangerous part about this virus is the incubation period. There's a 14-day incubation period when someone becomes infected with it, which means pretty much you won't show sickness or signs until after those 14 days. Now, what makes that dangerous is you don't know you're sick, so you're going to be around spreading it to other people. So the, the danger of this illness, in my opinion, is not getting it, really. It's spreading it. Um, you know, it's anyone with a decent immune system, strong, any whatever, is going to be okay to deal with this virus you won't see any long-term lasting effects, you won't die, anything like that. Now, of course, compromised people, you know, with bad immune systems are at a much higher risk. So that's where the danger comes in when you unknowingly are spreading it to people with compromised immune systems that can't beat the virus, which that sounds horrible, but it can be fixed. It can be beat. There are older people who are surviving the virus, there are also, you know, older people dying. Younger, I, I, I think I heard of a 57-year-old dying as well. Do I think the quarantine is necessary? Absolutely. I like to look at it in the perspective that I could really care less if I got it, but if I was to pass it on to someone who wasn't able to beat it, I, I would feel destroyed. Um, so I think that's where our caution should come from. We should not all be terrified of what we could get, but we should be terrified of what we may do to other people. In the bill that granted us our stimulus checks, there will be bailouts for large corporations. Now, they're going to push millions of dollars into these corporations so they don't go under whatever, stock prices drop too much, all of that, but they're going to give the Americans, the middle class, 
barely enough money to pay their bills. Just remember that when it's not time to vote again. Not that I believe your vote counts, but that's beside the point. With the low probability of actually getting diamonds in the vault, I do think that this heist should be worth more. You know, when you see diamonds pop up in your take, you should get excited. You should, you know, oh shit, I just got the best one. This is great. But I definitely don't feel that way. Um, as I said, I'll take gold bars over this any day. I mean, uh, you see, we ran two man here, or excuse me, three man here. And that take right there is something that I can easily obtain with gold bars, usually more. You know, three, five, three, six with two guys. You know, that's a much, much better cut than what everyone's going to see through right here. Even though uh, me and my buddy, me and, you know, we worked for the minimum right here just to help our other friend out. With Silent and Sneaky, don't forget that you can grab the Daily Vault twice as long as you've made it through the first half to the vault undetected. Then it'll be there a second time when you come back up the stairs. Uh, again, I, I deal with the same bullshit of a body found that's getting ready to pop up here in a second. Um, still, I have no idea how it keeps happening, what I'm doing wrong, but fuck it, it really didn't make a difference. All of y'all, uh, please stay safe out there. It's rough, I know. Uh, and with this money we are going to receive, just make sure that it's budgeted properly to where all your essentials are taken care of. You know, God forbid somebody run out of food or, you know, shit like that. The right thing to do in this situation, though, is to look out for your loved ones and look out for your neighbors. And when it comes to your neighbors, if they have any type of sense of morality, if you're looking out for them, they're going to look out for you. Because I know damn well that's what I would do. For the first time, I'm going to ask this. Can you please like, subscribe, and comment? Uh, it would help me out. I'm trying to buy a bag of weed. But I wanted to say I appreciate y'all checking this video out. Please stay safe out there. I'm going to catch y'all another time. I'm out of here.